Hola y bienvenidos a Norton Spanish Basics. Today we're going to be tackling subject pronouns. Now starting a foreign language is a little bit like building a house. The first year or so you're, you're setting up your foundation, you're making sure everything's good, and as you continue in the language, you might find that you didn't do such a good job of that foundation as you had hoped. In this lesson we're going to kind of go back and go through that foundation and make sure that we're solid in those subject pronouns. Now let me ask you this, do you remember what a subject is? You probably learned it in elementary school. Subject of a sentence, you talked about subjects and verbs. And you know what a pronoun is. So today we've got to put the two of those together, subject, pronoun. Basically we're taking, taking the subject and, and replacing it with he, she, etc. Let's go through what they are in English first. We've got the singular subject pronouns, I, you, he, or she. And then we've got the plural subject pronouns, we, y'all, now we're going to explain why we say y'all here in a minute. They. Now we've got a third set of um, subject pronouns that don't really exist in, in English. We've got another form of you, it's formal, and another form of y'all, which is also formal. So of course I is yo, and you might hear other variations, yo, 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 yo. The familiar you is tu. We use that when we're talking to friends or uh, people younger than us in casual conversation. He, él, and you have an accent over the E. She, ella, you might also hear Asia if you go down Asia, down to the um, southern cone, the um, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, Chile, you might hear Asia or Asia. Uh, and we have the U formal, usted. So we have two forms of you in the um, singular form. We have the tu, which is informal, and the usted, which is formal. Now the plural subject pronouns, we have nosotros, nosotros for we. Now often teachers skip over the nosotras. Remember that we use nosotras when it's we and it's a bunch of girls talking. We have you all familiar, which is really only used in Spain. Uh, it's vosotros or vosotras with a V. Now in, in most of Latin America, most all of Latin America, they just use the ustedes. Ustedes is used for y'all for formal or informal. Okay, so we've got the they. If it's an, an all-male group or a co-ed group, we will use ellos. And we have they female, which is ellas. We only use ellas if the, if the they that we're talking about is an all-female group. And of course we have the, the plural form of usted, which is ustedes. I mentioned that just a moment ago. Now here's a little tidbit of information for you. Some people might get a little bit confused because the usted and ustedes um, subject pronouns are categorized down in the third person when you're talking about other people. That actually has origins in medieval Spain. When, um, when you were addressing royalty, you, would never, you were never quite worthy to address royalty yourself. You couldn't say you to, a royal, to royalty. So instead you would have to say, like in English, your highness, your majesty. Some way that's a third person way to address the person. Well in Spain, one of the ways they would say it is vuestra merced, your mercy or your highness, vuestra merced. And over time that sort of evolved. Vuestra merced, vuestred, 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 usted, usted, usted. So over time it eventually became usted. And so that's why it, it continues with that, uh, that formal connotation. So those are our subject pronouns. Hopefully you've studied them plenty previously. Uh, we're going to do a quick little quiz here. I'm going to give you the, the Spanish subject pronoun and you tell me the English. So here we go. How do you say tú in English? Ella. Ella. I hope you said she for that and you for two. Nosotros, nosotros, we, ellas, ellas, they, all female. Okay, so you got a little taste of that. Now let's switch over to English to Spanish, which usually is a little bit more difficult for people learning Spanish. Uh, let's, let's go with he. He. Should have said el. What about they? And it's a group of girls. They. Ellas. I. Yo. We. 
nosotros. Y'all. Okay, here we go. Let's get complicated. Y'all, informal in Spain. Vosotros. Talking to a friend and you say you. Tú. Uh, you formal. You in a formal sense. Usted. We, and it's a bunch of girls. Nosotras. Okay, I got a trick one for you now. Let's say, yo y Miguel. Yo y Miguel. How would you conjugate the verb? Or what, what subject pronoun would you use to say yo y Miguel? Nosotros, because it becomes we. Miguel and I is we. Okay. Well, I hope this has been beneficial for you, and I hope you continue to study and and get a good foundation for the rest of your, your studies in Spanish. Have a great day. Adios.